All right, so it's pouring outside. Uh, I just got inside um, the house that we're closing on tomorrow, uh, 15 Howe Street. Uh, this is a house that we're working on a project with um, Malcon Design, and we're going to be doing a flip of the house. So I wanted to give you guys a tour so you can see the before process, um, you know, during and then after uh, renovation. Uh, so hope you guys uh, enjoy. All right, so you're really gonna like this room. I can feel it, I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, green curtains, wood stove. We'll be getting rid of that. Uh, that was a propane hookup and, we, and there's no propane tank on the property, so we're gonna be taking that out. Um, nice size room we have here. This is a great size room for the downtown area. Uh, you guys can see the curtains are closed, um, but uh, that's St. Joseph's Lane, uh, just across the way there. Uh, it's a beautiful part, just at the bottom of Signal Hill, um, so this is going to be a great property uh, for potential flip or a great property for uh, a rental. Uh, so we're going to see how this project goes, but uh, we're going to be taking out these windows behind me here, putting in brand new windows, new windows throughout the whole house. Uh, we're going to be taking the siding off the front and putting uh, Cape Cod siding on. We've got this nice blue that we used on Henry Street that we're going to be using again here uh, on Howe Street. So I'll just show you guys a, a few more rooms in the house, give you an idea of what the property looks like. Not really sure where all the light switches are in the house yet. Still working on that, but this is, um, no, no, there we go. So this room has been redone recently. Um, so which is a bonus because this is the kitchen. Uh, kitchens are probably some of your expensive or your most expensive uh, renovation you're gonna take on. So this was a bonus for us that the kitchen uh, they had redone recently. Uh, now we're, we will be taking out all the windows, like I said. Um, we're gonna be going a little bit bigger, bigger with them, brand new windows. So that's gonna be a nice feature. Um, and again, it's not a huge kitchen. It's not completely open concept. It's not attached to the uh, living room out front. Um, but in this downtown. All right, back in the kitchen. Got interrupted by call. By call. All right, so yeah, we are taking out all of the windows. We're gonna put some uh, new windows in, uh, make it a lot brighter in here. Um, and then I think we're gonna end up going with this as like an Airbnb house. Uh, so we're probably gonna be putting in some Newfoundland uh, theme like decor. Um, Cause this is a perfect location for Airbnb rental at the bottom of Signal Hill. Uh, yeah, prime spot. This is where people want to be staying. Uh, so this is another room where a bit of a debate what we're going to be doing with this room. So I'll just take you in. This is a uh, kind of like a little back porch area. Uh, so we got the hookup for the uh, washer and dryer. We're going to get a stackable washer and dryer here. Um, and you can't really see, but the flooring is not really level here, which is common, pretty common with downtown houses. Um, so we're going to address a lot of the uh, floors in this house, um, particularly this room. And we're thinking for this room, we might be putting in a tiny bathroom back here. Um, so that's, that adds value to the house when you have an additional uh, bathroom. Now we have a budget, so we have been debating a few, a few things. And that bathroom being one of those things. Um, so I'll just take you guys upstairs now, show you guys the rest of the house. So, uh, so this is the front porch area, just about to go upstairs, and I'll just let you, uh, show you guys the door here. We will be uh, replacing that front door, uh, like I said, putting new siding on. And we also are gonna have someone come in, and uh, the electrical panel is uh, just behind me right here. So we're gonna have someone come in, and uh, electrician, and check out the electrical, uh, and make sure that's up to, uh, up to code and everything. So, yeah, so I'll just take you upstairs. Uh, we got three bedrooms upstairs. Um, the people that own the house put carpet down, uh, new carpet recently, just to kind of resell the property. Um, 
So it's not bad, it's not great carpet. Uh, so that's another one of our, our debates. Uh, if we will be ripping up the carpet, um, we will have to level out the floors because the uh, floors in this bedroom in particular, uh, and this bedroom is over the kitchen downstairs, which is a new extension on the house. Um, we're gonna need to check and figure out exactly why the floors aren't level in this room. So I'll just give you guys a, a little pan of this room. So, uh, yeah, so new window, uh, all new fixtures, uh, light fixtures, and we're gonna be putting uh, new doors in. Uh, so this is gonna kinda just help like freshen up the property. So this is not a renovation like we did on Henry Street where we like went down to the studs and started from scratch. This is more of like a cosmetic uh, flip uh, this project's gonna be. So this is the uh, second bedroom. And we got a closet there. You, you don't always see closets in, uh, in these downtown houses. Sometimes they had like two or three kids staying in a bedroom and no closets. It's just the way that these, uh, these houses were built back in the day. But actually these, um, these three rooms all have uh, closets in them, which is, which is a nice little bonus. Um, and this is a great view. This is like what we're gonna consider the master uh, bedroom. So we will be, we will be making this window a lot bigger. Uh, so we've measured it up and we're gonna go wider and we're gonna go deeper with this window but just because this view is awesome and it just really shows like this downtown Signal Hill area uh, and it's really gonna bring lots of just like natural light into the master bedroom which is, which is like a nice feature to have. And the last thing is the bedroom. Uh, or Sorry, not the bedroom, the bathroom. Uh, so this is a bathroom. <laughs> I'm not a fan of these colors. Uh, green, yeah. Um, some random backsplash there. So we're just gonna be updating this, taking that all down. Uh, it's not in bad shape, like the floor is pretty good. I don't mind the floors. Um, it's got like a new shower insert, that's great. We're gonna be putting in a small new window there. You don't wanna go too low with the window because it's the window's right above the throne. So yeah, you don't wanna check that out. Um, yeah, and that's and that's a house. I, I wish I could show you guys the front of the house because um, But it's just it's pouring rain out there today um, But this is gonna be an awesome little project and uh, I wanted to give you guys more content like this uh, So if you're thinking of purchasing or if you're thinking of taking on a big reno or small reno um, You might have some questions um, Yeah, just let me know um, I don't know the answers to all of them uh, but I can certainly get in contact with the right people, put you in the right direction. It's always great to have a realtor that uh, has seen kind of both sides, uh, renovation side, new houses, uh, investment properties, whatever kind of you're getting into for 2019. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoy this journey of the flip. All right, see you guys. All right, I'm sucking it up. It's pouring rain out, but I'm going to show you guys uh, the front of the house. So this is 15 Howe Street. Love that, I love the Jelly Bean Row houses. Uh, and the nice thing about this is the house next door re was recently purchased and they're doing like full reno on it, new windows, new siding. So our house is like kind of the last one on the street that needs a bit of uh, updating. Uh, so this is gonna be a great location. I'll just show you guys the view kind of from across the road. I love that, I love those uh, brick brick facing front houses are awesome uh, yeah so hope you guys enjoy the tour of the house